Hello, I still got a Neji 3 Max laser cutter here on my table and I got another package from Neji. By the size of package it can be only one thing. Yes, it's honeycomb panel for Neji 3 Max. If you use laser machine for cutting, this panel is a must, but let's start at the beginning. Package size is 91 by 61 by 6 cm. I was afraid that the panel arrived damaged because there is some damage on the box. But when we opened the box we noticed that the panel is protected really well. There are big sponge corners protection, additional sponge protection in the middle and the entire panel is wrapped into bubble foil. First thing I was noticed while removing all these protections is that the panel is quite heavy. I could say it's heavier than the laser itself. Entire panel can be twisted easily, so it needs a flat surface below. But it's very rigid by diagonal, because it's got strong steel bars and corners reinforcements inside. Next step is to peel protection foil from aluminium frame. There are also another plastic protection corners to remove. Removing protection foil reveals nicely finished black anodized aluminium extruded profile around the panel. And here we got an accessory bag with 4 self adhesive rubber legs and 4 magnets. Let's check the dimensions. Outer size of panel is 85 by 54 cm and inner working area is size 49.8 by 80.7 cm. Aluminium frame profiles is size 22 by 22 and it's 1 mm thick. So the honeycomb mesh is 20 mm high. Each wave size is about 8 by 14 mm. Its size is just a bit smaller than AJ Max frame, so we got about a centimeter of space all around. But useful area of panels still cover entire laser area, except on front side, when the laser point go about a centimeter over the frame profile. Thickness of vertical sheets is about 0.25 mm, so they're thin enough to not leave burning traces, but still very strong compared to an aluminium one I have so far, which bent easily. I don't know much about steels, but look like it's made from some kind of spring steel, because also if you want to bend them it returns to its shape, so mesh is really strong and we don't need to be gentle with them. I was thinking that the mesh is welded together, but there is just waved steel strips, one to each other, shifted by half of wave, and then fixed together with a steel rod on every 10 cm. So it could happen that some of the strip come out, so we need to align them with some punching to align all the strips, and prevent hooking of material. I only miss one thing here, as you can see the panel is without button, so if I would just use them like that, my table or mat in this case will be damaged. Plus we got frame around 1mm higher than the mesh, so theoretically mesh will always be in 1mm lower in the middle, in case we don't use rubber legs. So I make an upgrade before I even use them for the first time. I got two sheets of 1mm thick inox. First one is dimension of mesh, so it fit inside a frame and align mesh height with the frame height. Tape them to its position and then put on another sheet, which size is same as entire panel. Now I can align panel 100% flat. Table is protected, so panel is ready to use. I think it'd be great if they add a piece of sheet under the panel, which should be removable for easier cleaning. Panel is now in its place, aligned and ready to use. Because entire panel is made out of steel, we can use magnets to fit some thinner material. Thicker material we can fix from side to prevent slipping on the panel. Let's make some tests now and see why we need that panel for cutting. This panel is useful for cutting only, for engraving it got no sense, but why it brings so much better result on cutting? If we cut any material using care assist or not, on flat surface when we cut the material burning dust got nowhere to go, but it's stuck between bottom plate and material we cut, like we can see here. If there are too much material, laser also lose its power to cut through the dust. Result is not that good, we got lot of burning on the butt match. If we cut on the panel, there are a lot of airspace below the cutting material, so air assist can blow burning dust through the cutting line into panel, and the result is perfectly clean cut from top and from the button. Believe it or not, but it also increases the capacity of cutting, so we can cut thicker materials while using that panel. Let's try now to cut a few different materials. I always use air assist and exact same settings. 
first try with a flat MDF plate under and second cut on AJ cutting panel. Start with basic 80 gram white paper. We can see amazing difference. On first try we got totally burned bottom edge, while the one cutting on panel is perfectly white and clean. Here we got 2mm balsa wood, which cut really nice, but again on flat surface we got burnt edge. Quite useless cut. While the cut on panel is nice and clear, we can see here that the cut is also more straight, perpendicular and much less burnt. On 3mm plywood result is quite same, no burning catch on the bottom side. And also on 5mm plywood where is much more dust we got clean cut. Actually bottom side is even more clear than the top, but top side mostly depend on air assist setting. That's pretty much it about the honeycomb panel, it is so simply product I got no more to say. After using it become a bit darker from the cutting dust, so all we need to do here and there is to take the vacuum cleaner and the brush to clean the panel. Panel surely bring NJ Max on another level. If you use that machine for cutting, that panel is definitely worth to buy. It may seem expensive, but it make much much better cuts and also increase laser cutting capacity for a millimeter or two. So far NJ only sells panel for NJ Max and NJ Pro. For more information, price and order check below into video description for a link. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.